Hey there folks, in this video we're going to talk about how much Samsung b die memory has an effect on our gaming performance. And there's a dog in the background. Anyway, this is Jude Macus with Aimless Geeks, and let's get started. Now, what I did have installed in my system was a pair of D-Skill Flare X, which as some of us know, is supposed to be really compatible Ryzen, but I've had nothing but problem with the, with the Flare X's. The XMP profile for the, these Flare X's was not stable whatsoever. To get the system to run somewhat stable, I had to push the voltage to 1.4. Anything else would uh, result in an immediate crash, and even still, I would get random bl um, blue screens here and there due to this memory. The current flavor of BDAM RAM that I now have installed in my system is a pair of Corsair Vengeance LPX RAM. Take a look at the last Super Prison benchmark that I ran. Um, this was using the G Skill Flare X RAM, and the highest I can get with this pair was 44 frames per second with an average of 33 and a low of 25. Now, take a look at the top here. We're already beating our last max score of 44 just with the new like Corsair RAM installed. Now here are the results from the test we just took. We are now at a max of 51 frames per second with an average of 38 and a minimum of 29. Now let's see how that translates to frames per second in games like Destiny 2. Uh, sorry if the video looks a bit grainy. I did shoot all of this with my smartphone. Uh, I didn't want to tamper with the results while using um, OBS. If you look at the top here, we never dropped under 30 frames per second, not even once, and gameplay was buttery smooth. I know it's a little hard to tell from the video, but for me everything ran really smooth, I didn't like have any stutters or anything, so this Samsung B die turned out pretty well for me I'd say. I was able to confirm that it was Samsung B die from the QVL list from my um, motherboard's vendor. And if I scroll down to Corsair Samsung B die, it's this specific part number right here CMK16 GX4M2B3000C15. Now, it certainly is nice being able to set my XMP profile to DDR4 3000, but because of this kit, I was also able to set the graphics to my um, APU here to 1620 when before I was stuck at 1325. In conclusion, this Samsung B that memory from Corsair Vengeance LPX is pretty awesome. If you're interested in getting this kit yourself, I'll put the Amazon links in the description. Um, at the time of this video, uh, it was going for 125, so hopefully, hopefully you guys will be able to get it for that price as well. But anyway, this is Geo Macus with Aimless Geeks. And as always, I have no idea what I'm doing. Bye. <laughs>